Hey guys, I was at an art stroll in Pentridge Station sponsored by the Roots Art Show and the U City Art Walk. And this is an event that brings the community together with live music, good food, and best of all, amazing art that we can enjoy, created by our local entrepreneurs in West Philadelphia. Today, I had the privilege of doing a quick Q&A with one of the artists to share some background and tips on art. So I'm here with Mantel. Uh, she's a local artist, dancer from uh, West Philadelphia. Now, Mantel, how long have you been painting? Oh, I've been painting for several years. I started painting in 2002 after I graduated from college. And now, is there um, a specific type of art that you usually create, or do you just go with what inspires you in the moment? So it's a mixture. If, it, if it's personal to me, I just go with what inspires me as far as, like, I like strong subjects, um, powerful people, um, you know, things like that. But, you know, I also get commissioned to do portraits and illustrations, yes. Beautiful. Now, so just going off with what inspires you, Yes. Um, is there a piece of art right now that's meaningful uh, to you? And if so, could you share the background? Well, actually, the painting that my um, nephew commissioned for me. I love what I'm doing right now because I get to um, incorporate some of the new techniques that I learned from being a, with other artists, yeah. and it's personal to me because it, it's uh, my nephew and his friend, and you know, my, his friend passed away and they don't have any photos together, so he asked me to to place some together, and it's really meaningful to him, so it makes it meaningful to me. That's so beautiful. Yeah. What tips can you share with other uh, creatives who may be interested in sharing their art uh, with the community? What tips, like in terms of like mindset or even habits? Okay, mindset is when you're going to to have your show or to present, um, you're going to be nervous, most likely because it's something that you're passionate about. Um, take criticism, constructive criticism, but don't take it personal. No, I love that. Yeah, don't take it personal. Um, and always remember how many people actually said something positive and beautiful. How many people you talk to that appreciate your art do not hold on to that one negative. I love that. Oh my gosh, because it's yes. that one that could just, will just nurture all day. Yes, all day. And forget all the, all like, the, the five star reviews. Absolutely. All right, well, thank you, Mental. And um, check her out. Thank you. <laughs> thank you again, Mental, for beautifying our community with your art and your radiant energy. And I also want to say thank you uh, for being my first local heart experience. And yes, I'm calling this segment of my channel The Local Heart Experiences. Local for the talented entrepreneurs in our backyard and heart experiences because it is the passion, their grit, and determination of the human being that sells the product. Not just the product they're selling. So we'll be able to get a glimpse of their personal experiences that make up their life story which ultimately brings value and impacts our lives. What if you still need a little bit more self-compassion or self-acceptance? Then you might want to check out one of these videos here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more local heart experiences and life coaching.